It's your boy, Rosh Renee Cuz. I am your favorite freedom fighter. It's favorite freedom fighter thugging it everywhere. Don't believe me? Ask that bitch nigga about me. You dig? All right, all right, all right. I bumped into a nigga at a barbecue the other day, and he was like, yo, he recognized my voice. I'm like, yo, it was love. I'm like, I appreciate that. Keep doing your thing. I'm like, I appreciate that. That's like the fourth person I bumped into across this country that either recognized me or... or Recognize my my voice. I got a real, real unique voice. I talk funny. I talk funny. I can never be a rapper. I talk funny. I get it. But, um, you know, anytime I meet a nigga, it's always love. I went to meet one of them niggas that be talking shit, be like, yo, all right, see if I'm really with the shit. But yeah, um, when I was talking to Homeboy, he like, yo, he totally agreed with that Spider Loke shit. And, and, it's, and I just found it funny because I've been around the country a couple times in the past couple months. I'm always across the country, back and forth, Miami, LA. Motherfucking Sacramento, New York, Denver. I'm everywhere. I'm everywhere. Niggas have the same motherfucking message. Spider Oak, shut the fuck up. Niggas are tired of your shit. Niggas try to show you love at first because, you know, you, you was an underdog and, you know, you was one nigga from G Unit they felt was actually street other than Trick Trick. People forget Trick Trick was on, on, on motherfucking um, G Unit. But you was like the underdog, and like, yeah, you gotta show the real nigga love. But like, anytime you turn around, you got a nigga dick in your motherfucking mouth. Whether it's the gang, 50 Cent, Young Buck, Wap, Snoop, now Snoopy Blue. Like, my nigga, just shut the fuck up. Niggas tired of your shit, cuz. Like, you said, you ain't active with the gang shit no more. So, who would it speak on any type of gang activities? I don't give a fuck if you still got homies. My nigga, that just dropped this flag last year, you know what I mean? That's my nigga. I respect every decision he made. He can no longer speak on gang activity. Why? Because he's not with the gang activities, nigga. Like, my nigga, come up with another topic to talk about. You don't talk about niggas that are civilians and use government services because you're a motherfucking union worker, which means you get government funded contracts, nigga. If you ain't active with the gang no more, why is your name Spider Loak? Your name should be Spider Neutral. Like, why the fuck you throwing up gang signs on your podcast? You ain't gang, gang related no more, my nigga. Nigga, we get it. We all have families. We all have jobs and careers. And we don't want to endanger our children's lives and shit. But like, realistically, my nigga... We don't stop gang banging or claiming affiliation because of our responsibilities, you bitch nigga, you. Funky dog head bitch, you. Now you say that weirdo, queerdo shit? That's you, cuz. When you gonna do something for your community, my nigga? You mad at Trick Trick because he putting uh, bounties on, on, on murderers of children? Really? Every millionaire from Snoop to Jay-Z to Rick Ross to Puff Daddy to the R&B superstars, all these niggas with money, everybody be putting bounties on these motherfucking pedophile heads, my nigga. Why we not protecting our community like we supposed to? Gangster. We gangster, but we killing our own kind right when the police come. I've been with this Ron Paul revolution, you dig? So I'm ready to bang on whoever come my way. But we got to stop glorifying our ignorance and do something to better our people. But yeah, once again, shut the fuck up, spider low. Get your little coins and stay where it's safe, nigga. Because you ain't with the gang shit. But I ain't going to talk to motherfucking head off. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment. Follow me on Instagram, Relationate Cut, like Facebook fan page, The Relationate Cut Show. Until next time, small for you, boy. Uh, check out my website, TheRelationateCutShow.com. Stay tuned for... Uh, Everything I got going, you know, I'm going to bring back my live show. I'm just trying to make sure everything legit. I got a few offers on the table, you know what I mean? Trying to see, you know, what's the best place to set up shop. Because anywhere I go, shit, you're going to see progress, you dig. Those that have been following me for years, y'all appreciate the love, appreciate the love. Shit, shit, I do this for the real ones. Till next time, triples.